Hello, everyone, and welcome to the MatthewBase.com Anacast series. I'm your host, John Casidu. In this installment of the Matthew Need series, I will discuss the Matthew Need Part 2, the Matthew Need to Become an Astrophysicist. In a recent news article, employment as an astrophysicist was listed as second in a list of the four current professions at nearly 0% unemployment, which means that virtually everyone who graduates with an astrophysics degree will find work as an astrophysicist. For students who are now making choices about what to major in and what to pursue as a great career, with very good potential into the foreseeable future, it is a long and very stable profession. It's not as if we are ever going to know everything there is to know about space. Astrophysics is a branch of astronomy that studies the physics and chemistry of planets, comets, asteroids, stars, and other objects in space beyond Earth. In their study of asteroids, astrophysicists have determined that a so-called ELE, extinction level event in which a miles wide asteroid impacts the earth causing the kind of damage thought to have wiped out the dinosaurs is not likely to happen at least not within the lifetime of anyone living right now as of 2012 nearly 95 percent of all asteroids with a diameter of at least 0.6 miles or about one kilometer have already been cataloged and deemed safe astrophysicists study other extraterrestrial phenomena such as the recent alignment of the orbital planes of Earth and Venus that allowed us here on Earth to observe the hours-long passing of Venus across the Sun's photosphere, something that more than 95% of us living today will not have another chance to see the next time it happens, more than 100 years from now. Using the physics available to Isaac Newton in his application of Johannes Kepler's laws of planetary motion, astrophysicists are able to predict, quite accurately, the positions and orbits of any near-Earth and solar system bodies given enough information. Recent advances in astrophysics allow them to do much more. Even more fundamental than the English, German, Japanese, or Chinese used as the medium of communication in classes and in textbooks, without the universal language of mathematics, science and technical knowledge would be extremely difficult to explain and to understand. Just as it is really difficult to imagine what a sunset looks like if you have never seen colors or shapes. Suffice it to say, Math is the common language that lies beneath most of today's hottest and up-and-coming career fields. If you want to pursue one of these fields, there are certain courses that everyone has to take. Your preparation begins long before college, with the arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and trigonometry that you do well in, or at least can do well in, with a little help. If you need that help, don't be afraid to ask for it. In college, you need the basic three-course calculus sequence that usually introduces vector analysis at the end in addition to linear algebra and differential equations. Physics is very math intensive, so you will need much more math. Some of the courses you can take in the math department and other courses and topics will be covered within your physics courses as they are needed. The courses that you will benefit most from in the math department are numerical analysis, probability and statistics, complex variables, also called complex analysis, and partial differential equations. Other branches of math that will show up in the physics curriculum include calculus of variations, Fourier analysis, abstract algebra, differential geometry, and topology. As math courses, these subjects will be covered in depth, but if studied as they are needed in physics courses, they will be covered in a piecemeal fashion and not completely. Programming knowledge is necessary both in computer languages and at least one of the computer algebra systems such as Mathematica, Maple, or MATLAB since computers are indispensable in collecting, sorting, parsing, and analyzing the large amounts of raw data continuously compiled by modern astrophysicists. Based on your particular program, you will need a certain amount of chemistry and possibly biology. Needless to say, there are many physics courses to take, starting with a typical one-year calculus-based introductory course, then progressing to mechanics, electromagnetism, thermodynamics, quantum mechanics, relativity, and others based on the requirements in the particular school. It would be a big mistake to focus entirely on math and science. Leave some time to study other fields such as history, literature, music, and art, in addition to physical activities such as martial arts, dance, or sports. You never know when the perspective obtained from time spent in other fields will teach you something about life or yourself. Whatever you choose, do it with passion, never just superficially, otherwise you're wasting not only your time, but also that of the instructor and the dedicated students. Generally, just keep an open mind about learning new things. You can never know what knowledge may be useful to you in the future. Astrophysicists 
do many different kinds of work depending on the level of their academic training, career interests, and available opportunities. At the bachelor's degree level, astrophysicists usually qualify as research assistants in academia and industry, as lab and observatory technicians, and as docents in planetariums. Astrophysicists at the master's level hold some jobs in research and development of instruments and analyze data from Earth-based and space-based telescopes. The work that PhDs in astrophysics generally do comes in two flavors. Theoretical, those that do basic research to increase the development and understanding of the science. Astrophysicists of this type often teach in colleges and universities. The other type of work is as laboratory and observatory researchers, designing space-based experiments, developing projects for space-based probes such as Voyager and the Mars rovers, staffing and running observatories, among other activities. They are also the ones figuring out how man will be able to visit other planets, such as Mars. Job opportunities for physicists of all types are expected to grow by 16% annually through 2018, according to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, at a much higher rate than average for other fields during the same time period. According to recent figures, annual salaries of astrophysicists averaged over $102,000 per year, ranging from the mid $40,000 on the low end to over $150,000 on the high end. The average annual salary of astrophysicists working in academic institutions is over $75,000, for those in research and development over $107,000, and those employed by the federal government over $130,000. Though there are fields where average salaries are higher, there is always something new to see and learn, and job-related stress is relatively low, unless you happen to be the one who sees that straight asteroid heading straight for us.